again passes over to the right side to allow the Phantoms to carry the puck out the end zone. Played forward now, goes into the corner. Finishing the hits, Peterborough coming at this with a bit of momentum. Great pass across to Finley Howells, walks in, shoots, shoulder save, and the rebound drops down from Brody Jessen, drops to his feet, a shot now comes in from Joe Aston, goes slightly wide to the right of post, just from the catch mitt. Aston walks in, tries to backhand it round, it's in the slot, the net's off, both the net's off on both sides, the net's still off. It had to go for a stoppage in play. Shoot, goes man. wide to the left of the post. Mitchell King was coming down in support. Shot comes across from Fielder, goes high off the boards, drops down into the skates of Connolly. It's in neutralised, the laid offside. Telford had no option but to clear the zone. Padlek now, cross ice pass, just getting the breakout going. But it's just dumped down into Telford's end zone by Barry, and now Peterborough maintain possession in the end zone, try and pass forward, Weldon comes down in the high slot area, hovering, hoping to get a pass to release a shot away, Weldon's calling for it once again, gets it this time, but takes it on the backhand, and the shot goes in! A shot from Will Weldon at the top of the blue line, it went through a bit of traffic, I'm not sure if it took a bounce or a deflection as it went through there, but the first goal of the night comes from Peterborough, you see Weldon go up for the puck, the pass comes across, he takes it on the backhand, lets the shot go away and it comes through, and the first goal of the night on 8 minutes and 50 seconds will be awarded to Peterborough, Weldon definitely had a piece of it, I'm not sure whether anybody else got a connection. The fruits of their work. Now, Mitchell King up to fielder on the point, gets the shot away. Pad save from Marr, puck drops down. Mitchell King feeds it forward to Watkins, looks for the pass up to the point. Conley, shoots and scores! And it was Sam Watkins that read the play. He could have had a go at the goal, but looked for the defenceman. Passes up to Connolly, a rocket of a shot, finds the top left-hand corner, and that finds us back to evens on 13 minutes and 45 seconds. With an even-handed goal, scored from the point, by Ross Connolly from a pass from Sam Watkins, putting the Telford Tigers back in the game. 1-1's one, the scoreline here now. Played down by McKinnon. Jessen taps it on to Joe Aston. Aston walks it in, tries to get a play on it. Peterborough defenseman Long comes across, and the stick goes up from... Howells, and there's a call for a high stick there. Towards Finley Howells, there's, there's no indication of any blood or anything from the Peterborough player, but the stick was up fairly high as it went across in the front of the bench. Barry plays it down, carried behind the net. Peterborough got a bit of traffic in front of the net, tries the backhanded pass, tries to get it in front, it bounces around a little bit. Jack Hopkins now picks it up, cycles back to his own end, just taps it on to Connolly, he drives forward, gives it McKenzie, walks through and aims top left and it just goes wide to the left-hand side of the post. A great play generated from Connolly, McKenzie with the kill, gets the shot away but just goes slightly wide to the left post. Anything going on there, in his interesting stance, he's got his knees together and sort of buckled out. That might just be his natural stance as he sets up for the play. Off the draw, Weldon wins it, Norton plays it off the barrier, goes up to the point, doesn't clear the blue line, McKinnon tries to play it down. But now a couple of lunges. Once again, Telford. Joe Aston plays it across to jo Brody Jessen. Picks it up as he comes in on the right-hand side. And Jessen pushes into the end zone. Comes across the hash marks. The pass comes across and straight onto the forehand of Brody Jessen, who picks his spot and puts it straight in the back of the net. The Telford Tigers, with their second goal of the night, scored on... 19 minutes and 24 seconds, which means that the Telford Tigers take a 2-1 lead coming into the end of the first period. And I think Tom Watkins will be very happy to lead the way as we approach the second period break. Lean in, a look towards the referee from Andy McKinney. Referee says no. Now, walk in to me. Spears tries to uh, well, Spears tries to split the defence, but they stay united in front of the net. Now Connolly plays it down on the left side, takes a deflection from Finley Howells, runs on to Marr, he passes up the ice to Buggles on the left side. Buglas plays it forward, a little bit of a tap now. 
Peterborough sending a lot of traffic. Goal man, Brad Day makes the save. The rebound comes out. Padlek skates onto the rebound and fires it home in the back right-hand corner of the net. You see some frustration on Brad Day's face. The first shot came in. He made the save, re put the rebound out on the opposite left-hand side. But Padlek was coming steaming in in that lane, picks up the rebound and makes light work of putting it in the back of the net to bring the Peterborough Phantoms back to 2-2 with a score from Padalek at 3.09. Picking up that rebound from Brad Day's save and putting it in the back of the net. 2-2 the score here at the Telford Ice Rink. Bit of a battle now between Rose and Gretton in the corner. Rose plays the puck, McKenzie taps it on. Gets caught in the boards. Hopkins plays the puck out. There's a call for a trip, but he was lunging towards the puck against Barry. He came out with the puck and there was no intent there, but there was... Luca, great stretch pass to McKenzie, drives down the left side, pulls over the blue line, fakes it in, puts it on the backhand, straight onto the forehand as he pulls it round, the defenseman gets the shot away, it deflects into the corner and a smart little play there. Jessen lines up, You've got Aston and Howells out with him. Jessen picks up the puck, plays it deep into the end zone, comes cross ice, Douglas picks it up, plays off the boards, icing's going to be washed off. Jake Price never played, it's Gretton. Putting in the legwork now, Connolly plays forward to Price. Price, nice little pass up ice, finds Jessen. Jessen picks it up, fakes the pass, gets the shot away. Straight to the centre of the goal, but Ma read it well. Nice little fake and a penalty coming in now, I'm guessing against 61. Brody Jessen. And it's a slashing penalty that goes against the Telford Tigers. So that sees the Peterborough Phantoms take a power play. The first one of this period. Bit of protesting from Brody Jessen as he goes to the penalty box. Pizzo fires the puck round the boards, held in in the feet of Weldon. He's got a little bit of time. Pays it across back post and Spears puts it in the back of the net. The puck went across to Billing from Weldon. He caught it up in his skates, got it across and then passed it across from Billing to Spears, who's driving in and then puts it in behind Brad Day, not too distant from the performance that we saw on that first goal in this period from Peterborough. So now Peterborough get a power play goal. Uh, the time of the goal scored on 10 minutes and 26 seconds. And that finds Peterborough taking the lead on the game to 3-2 for the first time in the game so far. So puts the brakes on, curls back, button hooks, by some time, backhands it down, McKenzie goes in. He's tangling. Luca down into the corner. Peterborough now on the break. Heading towards us as they carry the puck, stretch pass across, holding the blue line, walk in, shot pass comes across, and it drops to Billing, and it takes a deflection. So the pass almost trickled along from long over to Billing. Billing had all the time in the world because the puck was slowed down as it came through. The pass wasn't clean to his stick. It was slowed down by a bit of traffic. And as it came across, Billing is on the back post. He's got time, and he just pops it into the back of the net. And suddenly, another unanswered Peterborough goal put some 4-2 up here at the Telford Ice Rink. All the time in the world, Long makes the pass across to the back post, just taps it in the back of the net. In their second leg of their final against Hull, they've got a two-goal lead going into the second game. And, of course, the Telford Tigers won here on Sunday night. You can come along and get tickets at telfordtigers.net and, of course, tickets for the live stream if you'd rather watch in the comfort of your own home. Peterborough on the break now, down the left side. Stick comes across and it was a... It's going to go as a slashing penalty against Weaver. He came down on it. It took the legs out of the player. And I think there was, um, there, was no, there was no dismissing that as Weaver goes straight to the penalty box. And now Peterborough find themselves on a power play. Penalty kill line coming out onto the ice. Mackenzie McKinnon, Rose. No. Mitchell King, McKinney, Rose and McKinnon. Puck drops, McEwen wins it, goes up to Bugless, lets the shot, comes in, pad save from Day, drops down to McKinnon, plays it round the boards, hit finish there. McKinnon comes and gives Hunt a bit of a shove, playing quite a physical game. McKinnon pushing and shoving, bit of stick work going on. Referees calling and shouting towards the players. The play within the realms and the rules of the game, a bit of physicality in front of Brad Day. Six to one and a half a dozen of the other, I think it's fair to say. Peterborough now with the stretch pass up to Bugless on the halfway line. Plays it round, two Telford shirts taking the lane away. Bit of a battle on the boards, McEwen on the backhand. 
Bit of traffic in the high slot. Danny Rose plays it out. Oh, he drops to Mitchell King, but he wasn't with the puck ahead of him, so it gives the Peterman defence time to get back. He gets a shot away, takes a deflection up into the netting. Unfortunately, if that pass through to Mitchell King could have come across the front of his body and gone goal bound, he'd have been away on a one on oh, but unfortunately, it, it came on his defensive side, so by the time he gained possession and turned around to gain momentum to drive the net, Peterborough got their fans, uh, their defensemen back in order to take the lane away. Stretch pass, Weldon drives down the left side. Aston sends in goal bound. Pass comes up to the point, shot comes in, the rebound drops down. There's a bit of a kerfuffle in front of the net. Billings picks up the puck at the back of the net, switches sides. He wasn't able to get it in the back of the net, but Brad Day wasn't sure where it was. As Billings picked it up, he ended up behind the net. And Peterborough now, Billings tries to walk it in on the backhanded shot. Takes a deflection from Day's pad. Spires now up to the point. Shot comes across onto the back post. Weldon's got some traffic in front of the net. As has Billings, backhands it round. But now cleared out of the zone by Sam Watkins. And Peterborough, 25 seconds with a man advantage to do something with this power play, but they're two goals up in front now. As the break comes, goal bound. Pass comes across on the back side. Padlek circles away from Fielder, passes across to the point. They press down, the shot comes in. Brad Day makes the lead pad save. A second attempt from Sp uh, Spears heads back towards Brad Day. Another pad save, and now Telford clear the puck down the end zone. But Peterborough throwing some momentum at this. We're back to five on five. But Peterborough on the attack, shoots across the front of the net. Connolly gets a bit of the puck, tried to clear out. Buglas carries it down. Cycles on the goal line, back up to the point. Shot comes across the front. Padlek push, and the rebound comes down. Brad Day reaches across, tries to push the puck away from the net, and Billings was hovering there. Billings and Buglas celebrating as they managed to get a little bit of stick onto the puck and find the back of the net, and suddenly the Telford Tigers find themselves 5-2 down here in Telford Ice Rink against Peterborough Phantoms, and it was... The positioning in front of the net and the relentlessness that Brad Day had to face several shots and rebounds with the defence enabling Peterborough. And it's a very evenly matched toe-to-toe -to -toe game here at the Telford Ice Ring that I'm witnessing in front of me right now. Danny Rose shot in from the point. Barry ticks the puck, puts the point, puck on. Pizzo cycles back into his own end, but McKinney gets a touch to it. Marr plays it off the boards, goes around to Bowering. But you can see, oh, McKinney with a big hit on the boards. He's going to pick up an elbow penalty for that. The referee's arm's gone in the air. That's unfortunate. Now a bit of a lockout there between Barry and Jake Price as well. But it's going to be an elbow penalty, I reckon, going against Andy McKinney. It's definitely a penalty. Yeah, two-minute minor penalty for elbows for that collision in front of the timekeeper's bench with Andy McKinney. Players. Connolly. Tied up with the player. Getting a little bit more physical now. Up to the point. Spears plays it across. Winds up for the shot, that's the one time ago. Rebound comes in, and a back post pick up from the rebound once again. Finds that winning formula from Peterborough as they hover on the back post. The shot came in from the point. Brad Day made the save, scooped the puck round to the right-hand side to where the waiting Peterborough player put his stick on the net and throws it in the back, and suddenly you find yourself on a 5-6-2 scoreline as the Peterborough Phantoms come up with another goal. Let's just see who get that awarded to. Played forward, McKenzie skates through, he's on the net, he winds up, he shoots, Ma makes the save. Hunter Norton reject the puck into the centre. Weaver with a rocket of a shot, and I think that hit McKenzie, I'm not sure whether it did or not. And then a play, and Luca has lost his temper. The play comes in. And Luke is very distressed at that play. He's yelling and screaming at the referee. And if he's not careful, he's going to end up. But Luca really annoyed. It, 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 he got played into the boards. And his glove came off. And, it, and his face was pressed against the glass. And he was very annoyed with the, with the play and, and went towards the player that finished the hit on him. 
who went back to the bench. So it must be fairly disappointing this weekend. Yeah, blanks, uh, home and away. Um, and two very similar performances, to be honest. Uh, I only thought we really kind of pushed through the third period in, on both nights. The second period as well tonight, definitely caught you on the back foot extremely frustrating we were slow at the dressing room uh, slow lined up they ran a set play from that uh, neutral zone face off caught us on our heels and really that first shift in the second period kind of was how we played the whole period uh, Peter Rout worked us for that for that 20 minutes and uh, we were sloppy, we gave up bad goals, tap, four tap-ins, I don't remember giving up four unanswered goals and I don't remember giving up four goals in a period. So going forward, I mean, th there was definitely more work rate in the third period than the second. You need to now readdress this presumably on practice ahead of next weekend so you don't get caught in a rut. Absolutely, uh, you never want one loss to become two. Obviously we are in that position at the moment. We've had a great run of, of eight games where we, we, you know, we've had that streak going. You want to rectify that loss as quickly as you can and when you play, come back and play at home, you'd like to think that you'd, you'd get back on, on the horse straight away. Unfortunately not. Our first period was, was decent. Our second period was awful and our third period was was decent but we still lost the period um, we missed a lot of good chances um, you know Scotty who's normally lethal in front of the goal missed a couple of good good, good opportunities but that's not singling anybody out at all um, we've got a heck of a big weekend next weekend um, we'll probably have three forwards back in the lineup for next week three key forwards so uh, the boys who have been playing have carried a lot they've had a lot, a lot of respons responsibility a lot of minutes guys have been uh, kind of sucking up injuries and stuff like that and I think this weekend perhaps has been a, a, a step too far for us where we've played with a very different lineup every night a different line mate alongside you every night so um, we've got to get some familiar film uh, familiarity into the group um, so we can we can play a little bit quicker, a bit more predictable, and uh, and start to wear teams down. Well, good luck for next weekend, and hopefully we're back on the horse. Yeah, cheers.